In this problem, I'm given a tracking station A, a tracking station B, and a satellite, and the angles formed between the ground, the tracking stations, and the satellite. I am also given that the distance between A and B here is 61 miles apart. So if you let me label that 61 miles, I need to find, at least in the first question, how far the satellite here is from tracking station A. So that would be this length right here and I'm going to call that length little a because I'm going to be using the law of sines. Let me blow that up for you here. And the law of sines says that basically you can set up this ratio here if you know three of the four quantities. There's two of the quantities are angles and a and b and two of them are sides, lengths of sides a and b. So, so far I have uh, that the little a is the variable I'm going to solve for. That's the uh, distance between the tracking station a and the satellite. So a is a. Uh, but to do that, the rule is that little a is the side opposite big angle a. So I'm going to call this angle here uh, angle a, and that's 84.6 degrees. So, so far I have that the sine of big angle here a, 84.6 degrees, divided by little a, that's what I'm trying to solve for, is equal to the sine of b, which I don't have. Uh, the, and little b, the only other side that I have that's given is the 61. So to make use of that, can't solve the problem without it, I'm going to let little b uh, be 61 uh, miles. So that's a little confusing in this example because we already have an angle b. So if you let me back up just a few steps, uh, let me call it angle C. So <laughs> I'm going to call this angle C. And if you use C here, then the side opposite little c uh, can be 61 miles. There we go. So it looks like I can solve this problem as long as I find big angle C. And I'm going to do this in the following way. I'm going to use the fact that the three angles inside of a triangle add up to 180. Now, that fact is only useful if I knew this angle first. So I'm going to first find this angle here, knowing a geometrical fact that if you have a horizontal line here, that that horizontal line represents 180 degrees. So since this angle plus this angle in here have to add up to 180, I know my angle right here has to be 180 minus the 86.9. So I'm going to grab my calculator and do that calculation. I have 180 minus 86.9 is 93.2. So I did that calculation. And once I know that this angle in here is 93.2 uh, degrees, just trying to squeeze that in, uh, because I know that all three angles have to be uh, summed up to be 180, meaning this angle 84.6, plus the one I just found of 93.2, uh, that's a degree symbol, uh, plus angle C have to add up to be 180. So to find angle C now, I need only subtract off uh, from 180 the other two angles that were given and I just found. Uh, so going to my calculator, I did that. I took 180, subtracted off the 93, uh, I wrote 2.2, but it actually was 93.1, but I did it right in the calculator, and subtracted off 84.6. Uh, all that being said, I got that angle C here is 2.3 uh, degrees. So now that I have that C is 2.3 degrees, I can go up here, and instead of having a C there, I can write 2.3 degrees. Now, to solve this, you could uh, do a number of things, but since it is a proportion, you can cross-multiply, meaning that 61 uh, times the sine of 84.6 degrees, uh, that this multiplied by this is equal to this multiplied by that. This is just one way you could solve this. I know some students can just do this in their, their head with no help, but uh, I feel the need to show uh, every step. So to solve for A, A will be 61 times the sine of 84.6 degrees and then I have to divide that quantity by the sine of 2.3 degrees and that all will be the answer to the first question, how far is the satellite from tracking station A? 
I haven't done that part of my calculator yet, and you have to be careful that these are given in degrees. Hit mode, make sure you're in degree mode. I am not, so I'm gonna down arrow a couple times, right arrow to degree, press enter. Now I'm in degree mode. Press second quit to get back to this screen, and now I can type in my 61 sine 84.6, and then divide by the sine of 2.3. If you do this in steps, you have to be careful. The sine of 2.3 degrees is really, really small, and I've seen students uh, have issues with that as the calculator uh, displays the answer in scientific uh, notation, and that uh, leads to some errors. But at any rate, I get the answer here that little a, and it must be in miles because this was given in miles. Uh, what was it? I think it was uh, 1,513.246 uh, um, I don't know if it said how many decimal places to round to, uh, so I would just type in as many as I can. So that was 1,513, I think it was 0.246 miles. Uh, that's the answer to the first question. If you have the patience, you can stick around now for the answer to the, uh, the second one. Uh, but since I messed the screen up here a little bit, let me kind of just erase some of the things I have, and then I'll show you a technique. Actually, the second question is going to be very quick. involves just some simple trig. Uh, the second question says, uh, how high is the satellite above the ground? So here's my satellite. How high it, above, it is above the ground would form this, uh, was supposed to be at least a 90 degree uh, triangle here. So because I have this angle here, and the question is simply to find the height above the ground, I can use simple trig now. Um, but I think I'm going to need my result for my last answer, that this side right here was 1,513.246 miles. So this guy right here, um, let me label this height before I get messed up because H I usually label for hypotenuse. <laughs> so uh, I just found in the previous example that this length here was roughly 1513. That's this length here. And now I can use simple trig because I know this angle. I'm looking for the side opposite and I know the side, the hypotenuse of the triangle. Since this is my 90 degree angle, it doesn't look at that way the way I drew it, but this would be the hypotenuse. So uh, I would use the sine function and the sine of 86.9 degrees uh, would be the opposite, which is the height. That's what I'm solving for, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 1513. I'm rounding it for the video, but will not round it when I go to the calculator. So if I just multiply this over, I get that the height that the satellite is above the ground Gosh, it's got to be almost the same answer as before since this is such a, uh, a small angle in here. I don't know. It just seems like this is going to be about 1,500 uh, right here. Uh, the height would be 1513 roughly uh, times, if you multiply this over, the sine of 86.9 degrees. So when I go back to my calculator, notice that I'm not going to use the rounded version for the 1513. It's already in my calculator as the previous answer, so I'm just going to hit multiply. And it's going to assume, since I didn't give it a number, that I'm talking about the previous answer. And I'm multiplying that by the sine of 86.9 degrees. My calculator is still in degree mode from the last part. And I get that it's about the same, that the height's 1000. 511, forgot it already, if you want uh, 0 0.032, I guess. Uh, that's a comma, 0 0.032. I'm not sure how many uh, decimals I want to round to, but uh, I will round it to three, even though these angles weren't actually measured to that degree of accuracy.